Melissa Stockwell's Army service began in a ROTC program during her sophomore year at the University of Colorado. I joined because I love our country, short and simple, she says. Years later, I proudly put an American flag on my, on my prosthetic, prosthetic leg. leg. I'm proud to show it off, proud of how I lost it. During the W100, so the mountain bike event that he has at, at his ranch um, for wounded veterans, I ended up sitting next to him and I jokingly leaned over and said, Mr. President, do you want to dance? It was a moment that, that was really, really special for me to dance with the president. So to have him actually choose to paint that moment is um, pretty remarkable. Yeah, that's, uh, that's amazing. I can't stop smiling when I see it. I love the red, the white, and the blue. I love the flag. I, I feel like at a young age, I realized how lucky we were to, to live here, and I just wanted to, to give back. In early 2004, um, my unit was deployed over to Iraq. So three weeks in, it was a routine convoy, and my vehicle was struck by a roadside bomb, which um, ultimately resulted in the loss of my left leg above the knee. I had gone, you know, 24 years of my life with both my legs, and suddenly you're missing one. So it's a lot of a lot of thoughts running through your mind, you know, wondering what your life will be like. Will you walk? Will you run? There wasn't a, a pity party. It was a. It was more of a, wow, I, I'm lucky. You know, I only lost one leg. I have, you know, three good limbs. My mind, my eyesight. Whoa, that's a big stick, bud. As far as the prosthetic, it's part of me. I wake up every morning. I put my prosthetic leg on and I go about my day just like anybody else does. Um, I think the only difference is I. I have a leg that I think looks pretty cool. I competed in the Rio Paralympics just about five months ago. I'm in the sport of triathlon, so swim, bike, and run. I've done more in my life with one leg than I probably ever would have done with two, and I just I feel I feel very lucky and very fortunate. A lot of that has carried over and just you know made me a better athlete and you know a better mother and a better wife. My proudest memory of Melissa is from the dedication of my presidential center in Dallas in 2013. I watched as Melissa led us, along with the crowd of thousands, in reciting the, the Pledge of Allegiance, Allegiance. The flag she loved and defended. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.